Joel Daly came to Chicago in 1967. Back then, newscasts were just 15 minutes long. A year later, Daly and Fahey Flynn were paired together. They quickly became one of the most memorable and successful news teams in the country. I was on the street every day, and I think to have a, an anchor man who was involved in doing the news, not just reading it, gave us some credibility. Daily and Flynn changed the way television news was delivered, adding conversation to their daily updates. It was a concept that caught on and continues to this day. Some refer to their banter as happy talk. Daily had his own take on it. The big, I guess, breakthrough or innovation was we broke down the walls between the news, the weather, and the sports, which traditionally were always separated by commercials. And the personalities doing those various segments then were able to communicate one with the other. How did Fahey Flynn, Joel Daly, Bill Frank, and John Coleman first get together? When Flynn, Daly, Frank, and Coleman first appeared together, it was the beginning of a different kind of news reporting. So it wasn't until it developed here in Chicago and infected the country that it, it really became a family kind of thing, a team. Daly went on to join another famous pairing in the early 80s, anchoring Eyewitness News at 4 p.m. alongside Linda Yu until he retired in 2005. Oh. 21 years, thank you, 21 years to you, years. Years Good here. luck. Enjoy retirement. You deserve right. it. Daly was a pillar in the community and a staple in the annual St. Patrick's Day Parade, marking a milestone 50 years of appearances in 2018. I remember being totally proud and thinking if my dad only could see me now. He was a real Irishman. Inducted into the Chicago Journalism Hall of Fame in 2001 and the National Academy of Television Arts and Sciences Silver Circle in 2003, Daly was long regarded as one of journalism's living legends. There was one prize he cherished most. My most treasured award is the Emmy I got for writing, not performing, not reporting, but I did the commentaries for 10 years and I submitted it to the, to the Academy and I got an Emmy sitting on my shelf that says for writing. Beyond a news anchor, Daly was a published author and a lawyer. After leaving ABC7, he went on to serve as a legal analyst and consultant. He was a daring pilot who even built his own stunt plane and believe it or not, an accomplished country singer and yodeler. Your love is so fine, oh dee Joel Daly was a beloved father, grandfather, colleague, and friend whose memory will live on at ABC7 and in Chicago, a city he loved. What an incredible gift to do what you dream to do, to obtain the trust, respect, and yes, I wasn't going to cry, even love <laughs> from one's colleagues and viewers. Thank you all. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.